Hi there, this video is going to explain how to generate sinusoids in Excel and an auto-generated phasor diagram. Let's have a look. What we've got in this sheet, we've got angles down in this column. We're incrementing one degree angle step by step here. We generate sine wave. So we're using the internal sine function. By default, Excel wants to do calculations in angular calculations in radians. So we convert the degrees to radians and we generate a sine wave point by point in one degree steps. Cosine wave, we do exactly the same as a cosine wave. It's still a natural oscillation, but it's 90 degrees shifted from a sine wave. So we use the internal cos function. What we're doing in this column, what we're doing is adding a sine and a cosine wave together to get the sum. And we do that graphically. Uh, we're using these cells to change the amplitude of the sine and cosine in here. So how do we plot them out graphically? We select these three columns. We do insert recommended charts. Not let's just use figures. That's the one we want. So what we've got in here now is we've got the sine waves plotted out. Three sine waves plotted out. We've got the sine reference got the cosine wave and we've got the sun. Sum. Sine wave reaches a peak at 90 degrees. Cosine wave is 90 degrees earlier, so it reaches a peak at zero degrees. We add these two waveforms together, we get a sum. So we can do that graphically. We can also do it analytically. How do we do that? We use this trig identity for adding a sine and a cosine wave together of different amplitudes we get the amplitude is the Pythagoras hypotenuse of a right angle triangle. And we get the phase shift between the cosine, amplitude of the cosine and amplitude of the sine wave. And what we can see here is if we pick out the maximum in our column using the inbuilt max function, we can pick out 4.47 as the amplitude of the sum, maximum amplitude. We can also compare that with a trig identity, which is exactly the same number. Angular, the phase shift between the sine wave reference and the sum is 26.6 degrees. This is from the graph. Why is it 27 compared with 26.6? It's not to do with decimal points. It's to do with the fact that the resolution in your stepping through the angular rotation is one degree steps. So this can only be accurate to one degree. So if we wanted to get this angle equal to this one, we would, for example, have to have 0.1 steps in degrees uh, and then you could compare them exact. So this is graphical, this is analytical. How do we get an auto-generated phase of diagram? Here we've got, here we've got the line for the sine wave reference in there. And here we've got the line added on for the cosine reference. At the end point, we draw a line back to the origin and that's our sum. So this is a two dimensional computation. It's amplitude, which is the length of the line, amplitude, which is the length of the line. The cosine is 90 degrees shifted to the sine wave. So it goes straight up. They're added together in a two dimensional plane. At the end point, draw a line back to the origin and that's your sum. So this has been auto-generated by splitting the sine and cosine waves into Cartesian components and drawing it out. So you can auto-generate a phasor diagram. Thank you for watching.